Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Y'all, we're back in the Psalms today. You ever feel surrounded by problems? Sometimes we can be overwhelmed and feel like there's no rescue. But God, He surrounds us and protects us and defends us. And God surrounding us is greater than any troubles in our life. We're reading today from Psalms 5 and 6, and the verse of the day is Psalm 5, verse 12. For you bless the righteous person, Lord. You surround him with favor as with a shield. In context, Psalm 5 is one of the lament psalms and is a prayer for protection from the wicked. David starts off describing the position he is, then describes the position God is in. This is beautiful. We can so often focus on the problem, but when we shift our gaze to God's power and enablement, our problems shrink in comparison, and we understand our problems in light of God's greatness. I confess that David's earnest plea for God to make them pay in verse 10 seems a bit harsh when compared to Jesus' plea in Luke 23, 34, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. But sometimes when we are under attack like David was, it is understandable that he would want God to deal with the person. David was familiar with trouble and with attack from others. In Psalm 3, his own Absalom was attacking him. In Psalm 4, it was the drought that he was suffering from. And in Psalm 5, it was verbal attack from the wicked. There is something about being attacked verbally that is so difficult. It is an influence against us that penetrates others' minds and hearts. And we long to be able to defend ourselves. David was real about his suffering, but he also knew that what mattered most was what God was like. His character is perfect. God is good. God would defend him and be a shield for him. David called on God and then placed his confidence in God. We have so much to learn from this. He did not just complain. He cast his cares onto God and trusted him. David's prayer and petition ended with praise. God help us to praise him at all times and to trust that he will help us. The key words, the one key word surround was atar. It means encircle and crown. According to the theological workbook of the Old Testament, by far the most significant use of this word is the figurative. It is used metaphorically to show honor and authority. God gives us honor and authority because we're his. He surrounds us with himself and his presence. The ultimate metaphor for the word crown is found in Isaiah the remnant. He will bless them and be their pride. Ezekiel 16, 12. The thought of the day is God's love surrounds those who love him. Application, cast your cares onto God. He sees you and he is your defender. God surrounding us is greater than any trouble we have. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow back into the book of Job.